All right, so it is moving vlog number five. Is it number five? I think so. I'm filming today, so my foundation is looking a little funky, a little wild. Flamingo mug. So I think this is gonna be the last moving vlog before the apartment tour because I'm almost done. I'm just doing like last minute kind of things, which is crazy. So tomorrow I'm do like a photo shoot kind of thing. So that'll be fun, but I need to figure out what the heck I'm gonna wear. But I ordered some really exciting things from ThreadUp. I like scored, so I'm gonna show you guys. What are you doing? Oh, that's back there. Here's their super cute box. So I got some stuff for fall, but I also got a couple dresses and things that I think might work for tomorrow. This part of the vlog is sponsored by ThreadUp, so thank you to them for collaborating with me on another video. I did a past try on haul with them, so I'll link that one down below too. Okay, we're gonna unbox this thing. So if you've never heard of ThreadUp, they're basically like secondhand online shopping. They have some really nice stuff though, like they have free people, they have Adidas, Nike, like good brands on there. And the thing I think I was most impressed by last time was that every item I got, looked like new literally like i feel like they're super picky with the quality because every piece you could see that it wasn't like faded or just like too worn down i love thrifting so online thrifting is like heaven for me i freaking love their packaging it, like makes me 50 times more excited Ooh. okay so i got some jackets for fall oh my gosh i'm so excited like look at this this looks freaking brand new this is nike the fleece looks like it's been washed like a couple times that'll look super cute with like yogas and running shoes for all of the running i do <laughs> so this one is a contender for tomorrow for the photo shoot this one is forever 21 oh this still has tags on it i'm gonna try that one on i wanted some new jackets for fall oh that might even look cute with the dress this is a levi's denim jacket here's another option for tomorrow this is h m and it's this like super long length flowy dress i'm gonna try that one on too Okay, that was really hard to show on the box with one hand, but I got this Victoria's Secret like cutout kind of hoodie thing. You guys know I love my pink clothes. Ooh, this is soft. This looks like it'll be comfy for the fall. Then I got a couple jackets that I also want to try on. Oh my god, when I saw this, I almost shat my pants. I've been wanting to get this hoodie for like months now, and they had it on thread up. I'm so excited. I mean, amen to that. Am I right? Okay, I can't button this one myself. It's like all the way open in the back, but I think buttoned. This one is a winner. I like the like loose flowy sleeves, and then it has this like cutout kind of thing over here. I need to shave my legs. Not sure if it's supposed to be quite this long, but I feel like it could almost work like this with some like wedges or high heels. And I like the neckline, it's almost like boat neck. Ooh, I can picture this with like a dark, dark red lip or dark purple lip and like peachy makeup. Ooh, I just pulled this over my head and then realized there's a freaking zipper down the side. This one actually fits really cute too, I think. Usually these ones are really hit or miss for me because a lot of the time since I'm short, this seam like falls too low on my waist, but I think this one is cute, obviously with a different bra. And the detail on the bottom of this is really pretty. Cool, two for two so far. So here's the Levi's jacket. I don't think I would wear it with this dress. The red tag is like kind of throwing me off, but this one fits cute too. I can picture this with like black ripped denim and like a white top or something. This one actually fits perfectly like in the arms and everything. And I like how it's dark. I don't have any dark jean jackets like this. Welcome to my life. This is my issue with every jacket <laughs> that's like supposed to be long. It's just way too long. So I'd have to get this one hemmed, I'm pretty sure, but I wanted a coat like this that I could wear in the winter that's super warm that I could wear with dresses and like nicer things because I usually just wear my North Face and it looks really bizarre. This one is by Ann Taylor really nice quality it has this knitted thing up here which i really like i think it actually fits good everywhere except the length i think if i got it like an inch below where this dress is falling that would look better because right now it's like totally covering my knees and there's pockets Ooh, hell yeah this is warm i am schwitzing right now on this thing this is the final jacket that i got this one is from gap and it's the size small petite it's like this moto kind of one and this is cute it's like a dark blue wool it's like nice and fitted i love how they have the little thread up tags on here it says renewed with love in san francisco if you guys have never been on the app it's super easy you can like preset everything and you can search specifically by brands and stuff but i kind of just like to type it in and search so like you can see my searches toby don't ask me why i searched thread up that was a brain fart like toby dresses they have on here and if you go under filter, you can preset your sizes. So I just have my sizes saved, which is super nice. Just makes it really easy. So you can see the original prices and then how much I got them for. The Forever 21 dress, which still has the tags on it, was $29 and I got it for $12.99. Holy crap, that Ann Taylor loft jacket was normally $188. And I got it for $42.99. Super good deals. So I'm super excited about everything I got. I think I might 
save this dress. I think I'm gonna wear that flower one for tomorrow with Christy. I like both of these. Let me know which one you guys think I should wear down below. This video will be up by the time we do the photo shoot, I just realized. But if you guys wanna check out ThreadUp, I'll have a link down below where you can get 40% off your first order up to $50 off. It is no joke 90 degrees in my apartment right now, so I think I'm gonna go find somewhere to work in the AC. So I'm not just sitting here in like a sauna. I have been very into string cheese lately. Do you guys bite or pull apart your string cheese? I'm a biter. So I think I'm gonna make another green smoothie. I showed you guys my recipe, I guess you would call it, in the last moving vlog, how I make my green smoothies, but I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna go work. Got all the goods. Not gonna lie, that one, not my greatest green smoothie achievement. I ended up having to split it into two cups because I put way too much frozen stuff in it and it wouldn't blend, but it ended up working. Shit got everywhere, got pretty wild. I'm cooking up a salmon burger for lunch and some fries, <laughs> healthy. Watching Lauren's vlog. I feel like I've watched her vlogs in every vlog that I vlog. <laughs> I've been obsessed with mixing ketchup with sriracha. So good mixing them. So it's later in the night and I actually just posted moving vlog number four a while ago and I was just reading comments for like the last half hour and responding to some of them and I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys. You guys don't know how much I appreciate every single one. Some of the stuff that you guys write. There are certain videos where I especially feel a connection. I know I'm not getting to talk to you guys but when I see you on Snapchat and just reading your comments and stuff and recognizing your photos you do feel like you get to connect. Zoe who I always see you comment Zoe thank you. She left a comment saying that she feels like she gets to learn more about me through these videos which I guess I don't ever realize because I feel like I show you guys things on Snapchat but sometimes you're just like in the zone and like living your life and I guess vlogs and shadow and schmooze are really the only times you guys get to actually like see me not behind like makeup videos and stuff which I didn't really realize I guess those of you who follow me on snapchat I think get to see a lot more I think I just assumed that you guys know or like see more than you do actually do if that makes any sense whatsoever thank you hey mom hey what's up okay talk to you soon Okay. Bye-bye. That looks like it might fall. So I just went through the Starbucks drive-thru. I just got tall ice dopio with a tiny bit of cream. I usually get it with two pumps of white mocha. What is all over the shirt? I've been on the plain bagel from Starbucks kick lately. I'm like addicted to them. They were all out of it, so I just got sprouted wheat. But I just filmed part of, this guy's looking at me like I'm crazy. I just filmed part of the apartment tour video. I wanted to get the main rooms done while they're super clean, like I cleaned my whole apartment yesterday. I'm working on the hallway. That's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna go try and find some stuff so I can film the rest of the apartment tour. But I'm actually gonna go to this Ballard consignment store, which I've never been to. It's supposed to be like huge. I think it's pretty pricey. Woo, it's a strong one. I think it's like kind of a more pricey, antique kind of store which i'm not that into i usually like more like thrift stores the girl forgot a knife for the cream cheese whoops but my goal today is to find a wood floor huge mirror for that hallway space now my dad's going i have that silver mirror that was from the old apartment which i don't mind but i want to do a wood mirror and i got a little plant stand thing off of amazon and also i ordered a runner rug so i'll show you guys that probably in this vlog if they come in i think they will and i also need some random knickknack things for like the floating shelves in the hallway and that's kind of the last apartment thing i really am looking for so i'm gonna hit up a couple of the antique stores consignment stores there's also like a ballard reuse i think it's called ballard's just a town in seattle they don't have anything there i might go down to soda which is like south seattle and there's also a bunch of antique consignment -y kind of stores there so i'm gonna take you guys along i'm gonna try and vlog and then i just found out like 30 minutes ago that i'm going to la this weekend in like three days with pure cosmetics for an event which i'm super excited about i'm excited to finally meet them because i've been working with them for like a couple years now but i've never actually met them so that'll be fun so i need to get a lot done before then oh my god this girl has an aussie it's so cute it's so freaking cute Oh, I miss Parker. But let's get some mirrors and a knife from Starbucks. Going back through the drive-thru. This is so cool. You could use these as like headboards, DIY things. I'm like in heaven right now, so so cool. Thank you. 
this place is like never ending. Like I keep turning corners, corners and it keeps going. They have furniture and there's an outside section. The Ballard Reuse didn't have any big mirrors, but that was so freaking unreal. I want to go there every single day and just walk around. If you're into like antiques or just things you can like upscale and stuff, that was like a mecca and it was all hella cheap. Like they had the window panes and doors and stuff. The doors are more expensive, but the window panes were like $4, 4 to $7. So if you need that kind of stuff for like a wedding or event or whatever, it was huge. It was like never ending. I can't believe I've never been there before. Then I checked out Goodwill since it was right next to there and I didn't find a mirror again, but I did find a few things I'll show you guys. And then I also realized I probably need to get something to wear for the two events this weekend. The pure one is for their My Little Pony eyeshadow palette, which is all like bright colors and stuff. I think I want to try and get like a colored dress. Don't have very many colored dresses. But I friggin' scored at Goodwill. I've actually been looking at these little cute plant stands. I got this one for $3.99, but I got this little pot for it, which fits perfectly. And I'll just put a fake plant in there. This one was 99 cents. And then I also found this Bath and Body Works cute candle holder, and this was $1.99. All right, guys, so it's the next morning. Last night, I was just working the rest of the night, so I didn't vlog at all. But I just filmed, I actually filmed day one of 15 Days of Foundation. I'm filming it right now. And I'm about to go on another Starbucks run. Literally addicted. Bagel, cream cheese, and turkey bacon sounds so good right now. So I'm gonna go hop in the car. I'll show you guys what I ended up getting from TJ Maxx when I come back. I've still been looking on offer up for wood mirrors, can't find anything. I just don't know about getting it delivered. I guess I should just order one online. Yum. I still try and eat like, I would say I eat about 90% gluten free. <laughs> Not doing good the past two days, but in my apartment I only have gluten free things, but then if I'm like out and wanna enjoy some bread, I will, but I need to cut it back because I actually feel like it helps my body a little bit when I cut it out, but anyways. I'm gonna enjoy my bagel for the time being. <laughs> okay, this is probably the coolest thing I've received in PR. This is our hair, my heritage DNA. I think you like actually can send this back and find out everything you've ever wanted to know about yourself. Whoa, this is so crazy. Oh yeah, you do a full on mouth swab. I'm definitely doing this, this is so cool. Can we just take a moment of appreciation for this packaging too? Oh my god, that is beautiful. Chilling on a blanket on the floor, I got the LaCroix. I realized I actually have a lot of stuff to haul for you guys. This is gonna be like a giant haul, this entire vlog. But kind of like final home decor stuff and some random clothes and stuff. But I actually went to Home Goods a couple days ago when I was in Bellevue, got Javier with my friend, and then we went to Home Goods. Oh, these are heavy. So I have a few Home Goods bags here. First thing I got from Home Goods is another fake plant. Pretty sure my apartment is like 50% things and 50% plants at this point. But this one for a fake cactus actually looks pretty legit and I love this pot that they have it in. This was normally $28 I got for $14.99. I actually already put this on the shelf in the entryway and it looks perfect right there. So as far as plates and bowls and silverware and all that, I had enough stuff from my old apartment to kind of hold me over. But I was still kind of on the lookout for dishes. I really enjoy decorating and getting home stuff, if you guys couldn't tell. So I didn't want to like rush anything. I kind of just wanted to wait and if I see dishes and stuff that I like, I'll get them. I didn't want to like order them online. So I ended up finding the perfect dishes. I love the color of these. Probably will be hard to see true to color on camera, but they're like this super, super pale light gray with a tiny bit of like light blue to them, but mostly just like a cool toned gray color. They have this like bumpy detailing on the outside. So I got four of these, I think. Each of these were $4.99 from Home Goods. I actually got five total, here they all are. This bag is very large. Kind of like the look of like mismatching bowls and stuff. And this one was very questionable. This one, I, I still can't tell if it's ugly or cute, but I was drawn to it, so I got it. Flower, polka dot, rose kind of thing. I don't know, I just really like it. And this is like my size cereal bowl right here. Nice size bowl for those Rice Krispies. And then the other bowl I got is by the same brand as those plates. It looks the same with like the little dots on the outside, but this is like a light mint kind of teal color. It was $3.99. I feel like these two with a couple other like pastel colored bowls will look really cute. So I got a candle. I actually did really good on the candles before moving. I burned through like all of my Bath & Body Works ones except for I think two that I brought over, two or three. But this is the Sea Salt Fresh Aquatic Cool Candle. $7.99 and it's 
really nice and heavy. I love the look of this. So super cute, it has little X's on there and this really nice color blue gray. It does smell like a man candle, but it's also very fresh and kind of has like a laundry man scent to it. I got some new coasters. It's cool because these look like wood from far away. And I thought they would go really well in the living room, but they're actually tile or like ceramic. These were $6.99. Ooh, that was a quick focus. Almost looked like a little bit marbled too. There were so many freaking cute gift bags. I always have like a back stock of cards, gift bags, tissue paper. You never know when you're gonna need to give someone a gift. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be prepared. Whenever I see cute gift bags, I buy them. So I actually got this one with my friend of mine who is having a baby. Hopefully I'll see her when I'm in North Carolina, but if not, I'm gonna mail her her baby present. And this bag is so cute. It has like the rose gold kind of copper on it. Hopefully she doesn't watch this. I don't think she watches my videos, but she's obsessed with donuts. So I got her this donut card, which actually matches the bag like perfectly. And I got two gift bags for you guys, whoever wins the giveaway that I'm gonna be doing. This isn't gonna fit all the stuff in it, but I thought it would just be cute to like package the box really cute. This bag I just felt compelled to buy. And then paired with it, I'm gonna do this gift bag. This one just says, hooray, a gift green. These two together are super cute. Then to go with that one, I got this little card. It just says free hugs. There's a little cactus on it. Oh, here was her other card. So that donut one was for my friend and then this one is for her baby. Three of these are just super cute together and the colors are perfect. That's everything I got at home, guys. I wanted to show you guys this that I just got in the mail today. This is a blanket that I got off of Amazon. I love the colors of this. Pretty affordable for a blanket. And ooh, I like the material. It doesn't feel like super gross. You know that one material? It was warm, but not like itchy or anything. And then it has the little fringe on the bottom. So that was everything I got. I'm just gonna be working the rest of the night. I'm trying to get ahead for LA this weekend. So I probably won't vlog anymore tonight, but I'm gonna show you guys my Amazon things coming tomorrow when I get that set up. By the way, I wanted to tell you guys, I didn't end up wearing either of these dresses for this photo shoot because I decided I'm actually gonna wear one of these to the LA event. I think the peach one might actually be perfect for that. And then I'm gonna bring this one to LA too, just in case. So I just filmed a video on this looks, wait. Actually, I don't know if it'll have gone up yet. This video will be going up first, actually. So you guys will be seeing it coming soon, but it's makeup for photos, what I wear when I take Instagram photos. So that will be coming on my lips is Bang Bang by Smashbox, always on liquid lipstick. I feel like this is like the perfect red. Holy shit, I love it. And the rest of my makeup details, you guys will see in that video. But the Amazon things for the hallway did come in, so I'll show you guys I have it all set up. Okay, so now when you come down the hallway, here's what you see. I think the rug actually could have been a little bit longer, but I love the color and stuff of it, and it was like 25 bucks, 30 bucks off of Amazon, which is ridiculously cheap, especially for like a Persian looking kind of rug. It looks and feels like nice quality, it's not shedding or anything. Uh, ignore my outfit right now. I'm like half filming attire, half workout shorts. I think this would look 50 times better with a wood mirror right here, so I think I still am gonna be on the hunt for a wood mirror, but I love how it looks with the hangy plant thing and the plant stand. The plant stand was also from Amazon. And then here are the little entryway shelves right now. I still want something that's not green on here, I think on this one, but at least we have things on it now. So I was editing back this vlog and there's actually a shit ton of footage already. I think I'm gonna end this one here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. The apartment tour will be coming before 15 days of foundation, which is September 1st to the 15th. So expect that thing soon. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see the vlogs continue, make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know. Don't forget you can check out Thread Up down below in the description box. There'll be a coupon code for you guys. So I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.